Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me, Nintendo LPRZ Dude. And I'm here with the next episode of my Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Let's Play. And in the last episode, we retrieved the Thunder Helm. And made it all the way back here via fast travel via the shrine outside of this place. The Dakuo Chisei Shrine, I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> you know, I think a word like that, there, or a phrase like that, there's only a few ways you could put it. It's unlike, you know, unlike some of the other shrines, like, I don't know, this one. <laughs> I don't know, just trying to pick a decent shrine. Anyways, um, so in this episode, we are going to rent out a sand seal. It's only 20 rupees to rent one. Need a shield, too? Just pay 50 rupees. What do you say? Uh, let's seal the deal. So we pay um, 20 rupees, and we get a sand seal for us to use. You can actually find them all around, but these will actually stay around and whatnot. So, you know, when you... Okay, I need to eat something to resist the cold. All right, there we go. All right, so we need to get to the southern outpost, which we're getting real close to in actuality. It's not all that far away. It is recommended that you rent a sand shield or sand seal. Don't know why it says shield, but am I? <laughs> Anyways, I'll take off the outfit, though, because, you know, we don't really need it. And, well, she's, I believe, up top there, so let's go. Man, I really do love the art style in this game. Like, I play it a lot and whatnot, and I watch a lot of videos of this game while I try to sleep, and it's just like, it's mesmerizing. It's completely mesmerizing. So, jeez. Well, then, that's what you really look like, huh? Hehe. <laughs> With Vo banned from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight. Divine Beast Vodno Boris is pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Of course. Feeling confident. Good. Let's get going then. First we'll need first we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. Counting at you to shoot its feet with the bomb arrows. Now, Boris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If he damaged the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes, though. Getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm. But it can also shield a limited area around me. You'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll, you'll retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. They aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. Yeah, you don't need to spend rupees on bomb arrows. This is the only time she'll give you bomb arrows, by the way. So if you waste all 20 of these and whatnot, and you're expecting, oh, I'll retreat back here, redo, and she'll give me another 20. Yeah, it's not necessar necessarily going to work, okay? This is the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Um, I will. Alright, so just to be certain, I'll save here just so, um, if I do die, I respawn here with the bomb arrows, so that way it's better. I would also recommend having a golden bow for one reason alone. It allows you to snipe a little more easily, so, yeah. Let's go with the bomb arrows here, and let's talk. Huh? Of course, she's going to repeat herself, but she's not going to give you any more bomb arrows, of course. Mm. Could you give me a bit of room, just for a moment? My name is Raiju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast of Adnoboros. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Huh? 
<gasps> oh, wow. I can feel their power coursing through me. Let's move. <laughs> Lady Yerbosa, please grant Link and me your protection. Here we go! Alright, just as she says, we should try to stay slow, but not too slow that our thing that we disconnect from the uh, sand seal. It's a little frustrating, but ah uh, well. As I say, nothing in life is pretty much ever perfect, but still. Really wish there were two speed options for these, but whatever. You want to try to stay within her circle until you get close to the Divine Beast. She will try to stay close to you, so if you get a little too far away, try to just look around using the camera. The camera's like your BFF right now, okay? In terms of making sure you know where she is. And, you know, you can go ahead, just follow the yellow circle. You know, and that'll bring you to Naboris quite easily. There we go. And she's... Uh, she. It's getting ready to attack us. As you see that ring there, you want to try to stay like that and then wait it out because. <laughs> Shh. Surprise, I did not die once there. Did not die there. Wow. Alright, let's, uh. Let's eat a little something, shall we? We got plenty of mighty bananas. <laughs> Good thing for the uh, Yiga clan, I uh, bet, you know. Slow the hell down. Right, there we go. Got one leg down. Two down. Damn it. Crap. You want to try to be careful. We got... We hit that one. Stay close to me. All right, now. We can do this. That foot's down. That one's down too. Yep, we got it. Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Well, well, well. You 
sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head over to that Guidance Stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Alright, so we're in the Divine Beast Von Boris. <laughs> Here we go! Our first Divine Beast of the game. Um, let's take out the Rusty Broadsword since it's already pretty much damaged. Let's try to get rid of our damaged equipment first. <laughs> Alright, this one's going to be a interesting Guardian. I think we did take out like a Guardian or two before. You also want to try to not fall down at all while you're here because it's actually not a ouch. good idea. There we go. Good idea. So, yeah, you want to try to just be careful here. Uh, I was just taking out this uh, Guardian Scout like that. Hold on. My TV volume was higher than usual, so... My bad. We also do get a Guardian Spear. Not bad. Since that's weaker than our Gerudo Spear, let's save that one for sometime soon. But as you heard in the beginning, we have to go... Guidance Stone, you want to try to take out any of those eye things that you see. Because, for the most part, they are usually connected to some sort of mal thing that spouts out cursed Bacoblin or Moblin or Lazafo's head. So, yeah. There's that, so... Ah, right, yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, you want to make it to the terminal here first. Because then by doing that, you get the map for the Divine Beast. And little new function of the uh, dungeons. Yes, these Divine Beasts do replace the typical dungeons found in Zelda games. <laughs> and I do know the order I'm going to go for the Divine Beast. I'm going to go sort of um, counter... No, I'm going to go sort of clockwise, excuse me. But... I'm going to be skipping one of those in that order. I'm not going to say which one, but... Because I don't want to spoil what species are in this game and whatnot, but y you get the idea. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Naboris are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Naboris back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. Alright, so as you heard the voice say, we have to regain, con we have to control Naboris from within by using our Sheikah Slay. As you can see here, the stuff outlined in the pink area where you see my reticle is and the stuff that it's outlining below the arrows is what we have control over. The green pretty much states what parts of it have electricity in it. Each one will have a different thing, so it's not always going to be the same. They all have... A three-dimensional map, unlike the rest of the area in the game. And, no, you can't use this quite yet, so I would ignore that terminal. And you could go for any terminal in any given order. So, you know, just because I go to a ter one terminal first does not necessarily mean you should go towards that terminal first as well. But... Gone. Yeah, well. Probably should have stayed as dead. Oh, well. <laughs> that was my bad. But, yeah, anyways. Um, so, again, you go through any terminal. You go to any terminal in any order you want. Um, let's take our bomb arrows out. Bomb that there. Because there should be a terminal just about there. And let's bomb that area too. Because that will lead to some... 
so um Oh yeah, and while in the Divine Beasts, climbing is not a possibility. It's like being within a shrine. As you can see here, I'm unable to climb. It's just like a shrine. So, you know, if you're gonna say to me, Oh, why aren't you trying to climb the walls or something? That should make it really easy. <laughs> a, you apparently haven't played uh, Breath of the Wild yet, so um, I'm gonna hold that old back yelling at you for a bit. Um, although, unlike the dungeon, uh, the shrines... If you have completed any other, any of the other divine beasts before this one or what, whatever, you can use some of the champion's abilities in here. So I'm not gonna go out and spoil which ability you can use. Oh yeah, pressing X will allow you to leave the area in case you have to go back to Gerudo Town. So you know, don't worry about being um, how should I put it, out of the loop or whatever. Here. Right. There, Keep going this way. That's right. so I'll go that. Get like this. Yeah, this can get a little confusing. So I'm gonna keep going like this. Damn it. Turd nuggets. <laughs> Let's come on, Link. You can do it. Be a man. Damn it. What the? Battle axe. Not bad. There we go. Also, you w want to try to not touch that, uh... Icky pin like you! <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it in. I don't know why. I never really think of, um... Sunshine when I see it, but I just couldn't stop thinking of that for some reason. It's some inky paint like you! It's moving! <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just funny to me right now. Jesus. Uh, anyways, let's open up this chest. Um, for the most part, there are no small keys, so for the, so you'll find interesting, useful items. Also, once you finish and clear a divine beast... You cannot return. Keep that in mind. No returning to a divine beast once you leave it. Okay? Keep that in mind for those of you that are pretty much completing your first divine beasts and are completionists. You won't be able to return to, the, to any divine beast, well, the interior, once you leave the divine beast. Okay? So keep that in mind, you know, I don't want to hear you guys being like, you know. There we go. And it drops a guardian sword, so, um. No, let's keep that for now. But let's toss one of our torches. I just realized we have two of them. So let's toss the torch, grab this sword, and switch back to the spear because, you know, we obviously already have the spear in our inventory. Or we have it. It's already badly damaged. Might as well hold on to it and use it till it is fully used up. All right. So um, try going for the center here. So yeah, and a lot of it you do want to rotate a lot of them. It isn't until near the end that you want to match up the electricity with the electricity. Keep that in mind. So there's that. That stops there. Um, let's try moving that like that. This like that. All right. 
it's been a while since I actually tried to complete, um, since I actually went about completing the Boris. Probably should have done a practice run beforehand, but whatever. <laughs> a little bit on, on a time restraint here. Not on YouTube, not YouTube-wise, but real-life-wise I am, so... If I want to get through at least Naboris before I have to do anything major, it's got to be now. Anyways, that's enough about my own personal freaking life. Don't think any of you really give a crap. Yeah, okay. So. Then let's uh, rotate that around a lot more now. Hold on. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. As you can see, you can tell where the, um... There we go. Let's try to match up all the electricity lines because that'll actually do something we do need, apparently. <laughs> My mind's sort of going right now. Let's keep it like that. Rotate. strange because hold on so as you can see there's a terminal right there through there um and i thought activating the electricity there like that would have opened it up hold on. Hold on. give me a moment There we go. That's what I had to do. Knew I had to do something like that. <laughs> uh, but now what you can do is you can actually move them back to where they were until done to stop it from rotating. And that hurt. Yeah, that's going to keep hurting you. So good thing, you know, they give you all that. Uh, so it wasn't like that then. Oh, well. Thought it was a terminal. But nope, it's a chest. It's holding a night shield. Not bad. Not a bad thing to be given. Um, there should be one here then. Give me a moment. Let me uh, re rotate them up and see what that gives me. As long as you're by the chest, they shouldn't exactly hurt you at all. There we go. Okay, then let's stop it from rotating right now then and leave nothing you could do with those you know you can't really reflect them back at them and destroy them so yeah let's go like that then rotate them all the way back up here love the 3D model. I just wish you could have that more often outside of Hyrule Castle. Yeah, spoilers. Hyrule Castle is a dungeon. But then again, I don't think that's that much of a spoiler because in what Zelda game is it not a dungeon? 
That's like saying, <gasps> oh my god, Bowser's Castle is, is where you fight Bowser in the uh, upcoming Mario game. Jesus. <laughs> or, <gasps> Bowser's the final boss of uh, Mario Odyssey. <laughs> you want to know what would shock me? Bowser not being the final boss of that game. But that's a little off topic, ain't it? <laughs> uh, and there's a terminal. All right. Um. So what we hold on. Where are we facing? Okay, let's try to see there. All right. Let's put it down like that right now. All right, now let's, let's go down right here and allow it to go back up. Good, good, good. All right. There's our first terminal. There we go. There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. Thank you, miss. Or thank you, your person. Oh, why is it miss like that? Like, I didn't know her name. Yeah, thank you, miss. You know your name. I'll just call you miss anyways. Oh, it's a chest. Hold on. All right. Let's open up this here chest. Get an ancient spring for our troubles. Could be worse. Could be worse. Um, oh boy! You know, I guess this episode will be focused on uh showing you off more of the exploration in this game. There is one up there which I know about, but let's try to get these all lined up like that. Open up this chest. We get a knight's bow. Not bad. Our inventory is full, though. There's a chest there. Okay. I'm not going to go for 100%, so, you know, if I can't fit anything in my inventory from a chest, I'm not going to go out of my way. So, yeah. But there's... Alright, I, I think I got an idea now. Again, it's been a while. Give me a moment. I'll, uh, you know what? This is actually a good time for a cut. So I'll cut when I s I'm at the next... When I'm making my way to the next terminal when I figure out what to do. I don't want to just fill this up with, you know, boring stuff right now. Uh, before I do the cut, though, I'm at, I'm actually going to try to reach the one in the head first. That way, all I have to do is are the ones going in a diagonal direction if it was two-dimensional. So, yeah, leading up to the very top and whatnot. So, that's what I'll do. So, I'll, I'll see you guys when I figure out how to reach it. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment.
All right, I'm back. You want to ride that all the way around until you reach here, and as you can see there, there are two little orbs. By rotating this enough times in a certain direction, those two orbs will connect. Um, and there we go, like that. Then you want to go in the opposite direction for the other side, and don't worry, it doesn't affect the other side. Just by doing this, so yeah. Don't know how the Sheikah managed to pull that off, but, ah, well, whatever. <laughs> and that'll rise and elevate. That'll, um, make it, it raise its head. And an elevator will come up. And you'll want to ride it. Almost missed it. Right all the way up to the top. Because from there is the terminal. Uh, we're second terminal. Almost a third. Don't know why. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. All right. So that does that then. So yeah, there's a terminal up there as well. Um. Control's got a little wonky there somehow. Okay, then. Um. I think I know what I want to do. I want to ride down to hell. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that cynical. All right. Um. Should do is this. No. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is that even the right one? I think it is. But it is. So, um, let's go like this here and rotate it all the way so it's like that. Luckily for us, this is like a little caged in spot, uh, space as long as you don't go this way or that way. <laughs> uh, that'll um, bring you to the top there. By using magnesis, you oh. <laughs> went a little over or through or however you want to put it. All right, so you want to try to avoid getting electrocuted here. So let's go like that, push that there. What you want to do is you actually want to move them both so that way they're like that connecting and then the electricity there we go. Alright, so that's what you want to do. And by doing that Move that like that, and ah, right, yeah, the ladder here. Let's climb. Okay, then let's try that one later. That's what I thought. Okay. Rotate that one all around. two terminals remaining stay focused and you know what in an effort to try to make things even more entertaining I'm gonna do a speed up 
Just because it's been long enough and I think you guys deserve it.
Alright, well, I'm making good, making some progress in the very least right now. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Apologize for all the delays, but let's grab this ball since we'll need it. Good Orby. I don't know why I said that. Oh well. So, put that like that right there, and we need a second orb. Should be up this way if I'm not too mistaken. I think. Bye bye. Alright, let's uh two sidetrack right now. There we go. Here it comes. And we board and we wait. Oh yeah, and there's a terminal right here. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. Actually, let's wait now because it'll come back up. So yeah, that's probably gonna be for the best. There's the orb. Alright. Now we drop down with it. Pick it up. Wait. Walk off. Drop it. Get some distance away from it. Push it. And the final one is open now. Yes. Here we go. Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing mark you see there. You're doing well, but overconfidence can be a deadly foe. And guess what we're doing in the next episode? We're going to be continuing on from here and heading back to that glowing term, uh, mar uh, spot on the map. So I'll see you guys then. This has been Nintendo LP or Z Dude. And... Uh, well, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.